Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Eddie, again, who's always happy to assist you with your home automation and professional needs. Today's video is all about simplifying an installation in a step-by-step -step method. So hopefully you've seen my previous video on my home automation setup, and uh, you notice that I'm a little bit impatient in having my smart home devices uh, speak with HomeKit. So I did a lot of research, and uh, for me, at least for me, the right way to go was HomeBridge as it emulates the iOS HomeKit API to third-party manufacturers, smart home devices, and creates a bridge between the two. I'm very excited to show you how to install HomeBridge on a Synology DS218 Plus on a PC and on a Mac together with its user interface. It's very important to get there so that it makes it easy for you to install plugins and to configure the same without any multiple uh, manual commands or uh, tasks. But before we get into the installation, it's very important to give a big shout out to all the developers from the Homebridge community for their continuous support and upgrades to these fantastic plugins, and which makes this all possible. Without that, we would have had to shell a lot of money to buy those expensive uh, HomeKit devices. Let's dive into install Homebridge on a Synology network attached storage. The model that I'm using is the DS218 Plus. Now there are two ways to, uh, to complete the installation. One is by using the Docker uh, application within the uh, Synology uh, platform or using the .apk uh, package from uh, the link that I'll be providing below. So for the first way, the Docker way, there are all in all 10 steps to get to the installation. And if you use the manual installation or the manual package, the .apk file, it's only two steps. So I'll go through first the 10 steps of having the using the Docker container uh, followed by the manual uh, package installer. So let's get into it and uh, let's have the service up and running. Everything starts at the homebridge.io webpage and uh, let's take a look on going through the GitHub uh, information and then on the entire community, the installers. Since we are more interested in installing Homebridge on Docker using the Synology NAS server, here you will get to see all of the detailed steps. Installing Docker, configuring the containers, uh, as well as uh, manually updating and installing uh, packages and plugins. You will also get to see an overview on the config UI as well. There's a little secret of en enabling this and we'll go through that as well. So uh, let's start. Uh, let's get into the Synology server. And the first thing you want to do is look for Docker and download it. And if you are a, and if you want to edit and input commands through your server, please do download the text editor as well. Let's give it a couple of minutes and uh, you should see them installed onto your server. Once Docker is installed, you can open up the application. As soon as you open it, you will get an overview of the application plus a message containing that there is no running containers. And if you go into the container section, it says you've got no containers created. If you go down to images, you haven't downloaded any images. And if you check registry, this is where we're going to start looking for Homebridge. So download Homebridge through the registry tab and uh, select uh, Osno front slash Homebridge and always choose the latest tag. It's around about 500 plus MB file and wait for it to download. Once it's completed, step four is launch Homebridge, the image. And if you want, you can always update the container name. You want to go into additional settings. You want to enable auto start. You want to go to volume. You want to add a folder within the Docker folder.
and the mounting part is home bridge as well. Then you want to go into network settings and use the same network. Port settings, nothing. And then in the environment, you want to add in the DSM host name. To get this, you can go into control panel, info center, network, and copy paste the server name. Now, before you move ahead, this next step is a very important one. This is where you enable the UI. So change value to one, don't forget, and remember the config UI port. So you don't need to do any additional uh, home bridge service install. Just change value to one. Leave those values not enabled. Next. Everything looks good, and you should click apply. Wait for it, and in your container, you should see the home bridge working with all of our values applied. Again, config UI to one. Go into your logs, it should give you a random messages on the installation. And what you want to do is you want to go to the to the link and uh, use the default username and password so yep there you are you've got the home bridge ui working perfectly and everything looks good so you're done with the 10 step uh, process to get the uh, home bridge running on a synology what we're going to do next is the simple two-step uh, uh, process uh, for the manual package installer uh, don't get uh, upset with me that I didn't do this earlier. Uh, there's nothing of any time gains or something or you lost your time. It's just uh, giving you uh, both sides of the coin uh, to install Homebridge on a Synology. You choose which one's better. So let's dive into the quick one, two step uh, process to install Homebridge on a Synology. So the other way is to download and manually install the .spk file. And it's just, it's just a simple installer. Follow the next steps. No secret over here. This one's very important. Make sure you select yes to enable the UI. Next, apply. And on successful installation, you should see it in the install tab. Wait for a couple of minutes, click on the link below and uh, you're good to go. In two simple steps, you'll have the home bridge installed on your Synology. So hopefully the installation has been a success for you. And all of the information is in the description. So just in case you missed out on anything, it's there. You can save it uh, uh, for you as well. So what's coming up next? Where do we take this installation? Uh, we're going to uh, use the uh, weather station plugin, a very simple plugin. All you got to do is copy paste and you will get to understand the user interface, uh, the way we, we copy paste uh, keys and to get the whole plugin working for you correctly. And then we're going to use the Eve app to run a basic automation just using the weather station plugin without any uh, purchases of uh, special devices. After that, we're going to use the Plex plugin using if you have a, a media server that runs Plex so we can run some automation just using the Plex plugin again without any additional uh, purchases or special smart home devices okay so hopefully I have been resourceful uh, with uh, my channel tech with Eddie and if and if that's uh, doing that I really request you to hit that like button and uh, what motivates me is uh, hitting that subscribe button as well so until the next time, bye-bye, thank you, ciao.